Welcome back to another deep dive where I go over anything and everything FPS related, whether that's Call of Duty, Destiny, X Defiant, or anything that I'm just kind of interested in and feel like I want to share to you guys. So let's find out what we're diving into now, shall we? Can we point out at the beginning of this video how shameless this COD bundle is? The Dark Rituals 3 bundle comes with a thermal optic that completely enhances the thermal. And I know, I know you're thinking, Elliot, thermals are banned in right play and G8 in the CVL. Yes, I know, but how many of your friends are strictly playing Warzone ranked and following the GAs when they go into ranked play? I would argue not too many. But instead, I would think that the majority of the player base that Modern Warfare 2 still has is hopping into Vondel and Ashika and just trying to frag out and have a good time. They're definitely not doing it in Almazra. <clears throat> now, if there was a free way to earn this optic or this thermal endgame, I would have to worry about it. But come on, Activision, this is just shameless. Now, moving on, Call of Duty is really hyping up Modern Warfare 3 and has this cool SMS marketing thing going on where you could text this number on the screen and I sent them, you know, the slide can't sell since that was a play on words from yesterday's video of them sending out, uh, you know, a bundle to different creators where it had a Gucci slide with basically a SD card in it that led to a phone when they hooked it in. It says that you're going to be moving around on Mazra faster. And it also had an empty can. And when you put those things together at a certain order, you get slide, can, sell. I don't think it matters what you actually send them because it ultimately prompted the automated messages where it sends you, down, you know, down a, a a role where it's like, can you receive sensitive information? Yes. Okay. Well, here's this picture of what's going to happen. It shows you observatory. And I think much like stadium, they plan on nuking the shit out of it. And earlier today, or at least they're recording this video when I was at work, I was scrolling through and I saw that Call of Duty sent the link to a YouTube video that's going to be premiering tomorrow for a Makarov reveal trailer. I hope it's going to be more than just the Makarov reveal trailer, who is a nostalgic character in the Modern Warfare franchise. And he was also seen and heard in yesterday's official logo reveal for Modern Warfare 3. But there's a lot of energy and there's a lot of hype around Modern Warfare 3. So I'm not going to pass any judgment on it because, because it feels like it's supposed to be the game that modern warfare 2 was and that was a letdown so until i get my hands on it no judgment good or bad now to all my amigos who are interested in the cdl side of things or the cdl side or the esports side of call of duty the nysl the new york Supplanters have officially announced their roster for next season and if you knew the rumored roster or what the rumor was going on with sib replacing presa that's exactly what happened so the team is going to officially be hydra kimsman awakening and sib here's the reveal video for it Five chips in one ring, 78 though. 99 rated. He's a weird neck though. 87 seconds in health. We don't need a kitten though. Pointing an SD. Nice try, buddy. Oh my god, dude. Why is this so impossible? Hey, what's up, man? Troy, have you found it yet? No, I haven't. I've been searching cards all day, and uh, I genuinely haven't found anything. Remember, Troy, I want a 90 plus on the lineman card. He has to be hardworking, disciplined, but most importantly, he needs to have that voice. He needs to work well with the others. Joe, Troy, they're here. All right, yeah, I gotta go. Talk to you later. Most importantly, he needs to have that voice. Let's get this started. Number one, can you please sing the opening for I Want It That Way? Really? You are my fire. Number two, keep it going. My one desire. Number three. Believe when I say. Number four. I want it that way. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. And number five. I ain't never want to hear you say. Let's go. I want it that way. Hang on, hang on, Troy. Wait, wait. That's it, Troy. That's it. He has the voice. I think we found our fourth. That is it. Yes, Lord. Number five, you're hired. Oh, the fast life, the fast living. Fast living. They see the ambition, they know I'm past driven. <laughs> Look, we are not the same. This is not a game. Not a game. I've been swerving through the city in another lane. 
I'm not sure about you guys, but my first reaction watching that video was just like, holy hell is that cringe, but I love it, or at least I like the last 10 seconds of it, because it makes the rest of the video worth it. Where Dante looks over and he smiles, he's like, yeah, I got the job, baby, and then walks away. I, I like it, I like it. I know Sib as a player has a higher ceiling than Priesta, but I mean, after winning three events last year, one of them being champs, it's gonna be very hard to beat that team. But I'm going to be very interested to see how the chemistry plays out because if NYSL does indeed win an event this year, we're going to have to look at NYSL as an organization because top down, they miss, they might be the most forward thinking organization in the CDL. Because not only do they have you know, coaches, but they also have trainers, nutritionists, therapists. They got everything over there. And much like Toronto, I really like seeing how forward thinking, how progressive these esports organizations are getting. On a side note, it is kind of sad to see because I was also scrolling through Twitter or the app formerly known as Twitter. I saw that Hunter shared this tweet out about the Sentinel store. It's like, if they don't get crowdsourced funding, they might not be a team or an organization. They might not be around longer than like six months. Like this might be the last year that we see Sentinel as a brand, which would be a tragic thing to see. But reeling it back into Call of Duty over here, Lastly, Seattle Surge's roster to me seems like a dark horse that actually might mess around and win an event or two. Because I really like this rumored roster of Illy, Hook, RCDs, and Abuza. Now, I don't know too much about Abuza. I know he's a challenger player, but I thought he was an AR. Though, I don't know why I, I'm even bringing that up because I think much like a paintball at the highest level, it doesn't matter where you're playing or what gun you're shooting. It all matters what's in between the ears. And I'm a big fan of Hook and his mentality. Illy's gonna be the X Factor with his personality because I know he could be a little hot-headed or some would say passionate. But I want you guys to let me know what do you think about that and anything I talked about down below because I think that's where we're gonna wrap up today's video. If you liked it, you learned anything or you found it insightful at all, please leave a like and subscribe on our road to 500. Every subscribe helps. Share this video with a friend who wants to stay caught up in the world of gaming, streaming and esports and if you're picking up what i'm putting down come over and hang out with me on kick kick.com for chess all right i stream virtually every day and i am just an fps fangirl now with that said i challenge you make somebody laugh today and i'll catch you on the next one peace <laughs> let's shut your feet shut your dick what did he say <laughs> Oh my lord!